Hello and welcome to another how-to uh, paint and prime your models, your Games Workshop models with Citadel Primer. Uh, I promised you guys that I do uh, that I do a tank next, uh, but I'm also going to do some Eldar sprues because it's such a nice day outside. So you'll see that. Oh, thank you, Momo. We have we have a young studio audience down on the. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's she's running through the camera equipment. Uh, and my wife, as always, is working the camera. Um, say hi to the say hi to the folks. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so <coughs> we have this lovely old style Imperial Guard Hellhound, circa 1993, I think, maybe 95. I can't remember exactly. Uh, it has seen better days. Um, video. <laughs> video. Very good. It has seen better days, um, but I'm going to try and bring it back to uh, uh, its Imperial Glory by adding it into my army. It's missing tank tracks and whatnot, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So, how do you... Morgan. How do you... So, there, there, there are a few ways to, to spray paint and prime with a fully completely built tank model. Um, we talked about continuous stream and we talked about short bursts. Uh, now there's whoop. Morgan. Morgan, stop. you gotta, stop. you gotta stop. Be good. Be good. So, oh, it's okay. So, this is what we got. Um, I'm using the the the, the plastic bag method, or what you can do is put the box and flip it over and then just prime around the box. But we're going to do this way and see how well this works out. Got it, got the shot. Yes. Careful, Momo. Uh, Morgan, over here. Over here. Good girl. Now, the plastic bag does prove some problems because, as you can see, we have some waves in the primer, and it's starting to stick to the plastic. So, I only would do this. I only do this for a majority of the coating, right? But, but, and as you can see, you can get that detail in there. The wave. See what I'm talking about? Not really, but right here where the mm -hmm. plastic bag is hitting the. Okay. Well, bubble. you're too close. Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. So you can see um, you can see uh, that that the plastic bag does prove some problems, but that's easy to fix because you're going to be painting over it with tiger pattern or spray paint pattern and whatnot. Now. The other way, which is more of a cleaner way of doing it, is spraying inside a box or on top of a box. So we're going to do that right now. So, to fix the mistakes of the bag, right, what we're going to do is we're going to hit some of the areas that the bag bent in. 
or, or modeled itself on. So just a quick, short burst. Okay, it's not going to fix all of it, but it will correct some of the pattern. Of course, I'm in the light. And then to get the underneath, what you're going to have to do is lift the tank gently and use the plastic bag as it's blowing away. There you go. That's how you prime a tank. Now the tank is going to sit there for anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes just so the fumes don't get to you when it's drying. And that is how you prime a fully coated a fully coated uh, or, or a fully built a near complete model. As you can see, it's primed evenly. Oh, baby. It's primed evenly. Um, the mark on the door is where the bag touched. Okay. We have this mark right here where the bag touched. All right. So you you will have some imperfections. That's not that's going to be difficult to avoid. Um, but all in all, it's covered, and you're, you're going to miss some stuff with the tank turret. So if I, if I took the tank turret off, see, so you're, you're, you're missing some of that. But that can be fixed by paint. You know, the, majority, the reason why you want to prime is if you have these old pewter cast models, all right? Because remember, this was metal, the slide plates were metal, the top was metal, these tanks were metal. So you got to, you have to... Um, you have to be you have to be very careful with metal models because they, they tend to chip and flake if you don't prime them. So that's why you want to do as best as you can to prime everything. Um, now, I did show you. Um, hold it. You want to hold the stick? touch it like this it's okay sweeties um, now I did promise you that I would show you how to paint how to prime another sprue um, so we're gonna go through this real quick these are Wraith Guard okay Eldar Wraith Guard and seeing as I'm painting them in the Oathway pattern um, uh, they are they're gonna be black with white so the, the primary armor is going to be... She wants to go in. Oh, she wants to go inside. I'm taking her in. Alrighty. Alright. It's a little warm, huh, honey? So, um, the, uh, Eldar, uh, uh this is an uh, Eldar Warwalker, or not Warwalker, it's a Wraith Guard. And the primary color is going to be black. Um, so, because uh, they're Oathway pattern. So, to prime, to prime these, like I did uh, last time, we're going to do, we're going to do short bursts, or not short bursts. We're going to do continuous stream. Okay, it's real easy. And sometimes you have to do short bursts to get uh, some of the other stuff. 
All right, then you just put it down, let that dry, and you move on to your next to the next bit. All right, so simple as that. Remember, you want the the spray can. This is a sprue. That's a spray can. You want it as about as this far away. You know, gently back and forth. Okay, it's real easy. Okay, and you get it. You get most coverage. All right, there's some gray. You're gonna see it, but that's because we're not done yet. Alrighty, and don't get discouraged if you don't get it all in one go. All right. So we're gonna tilt this to get more better coverage. So there you go. And it may take you a few times. So we tilt it again. There we go. And then we tilt it again. There we go. And then all we have for the gray side is this, but you see that 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 some of it's already touched up, but the like gives it more of an ashy color, more of a more of a darkened color, right? So with that, you just okay. And there it is. It's fully fully coated. No detail lost. We just put that sucker down. And we pick up the sprue that we that we stop painting. Let me look at it. We see what we missed. A perfect example of something that we missed is right here. You see the... If I tilt it... I don't know if that's going to be a decent shot or not. But you see the, the change. Alright. There you go. Okay, well... You just fix it. You just correct it real quick. And as you as you spray, you want to uh, rotate the sprue around to see if there's any gray that you missed. Okay. And some of it you are gonna miss, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. You know, you're not gonna get everything. You just want to look, observe. Rotate. Make sure you got everything. If you didn't, touch it up. Okay? And then you just put it back down. And that's easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, same thing. These are the, uh, the, the, the close range weapons. But same thing, same concept. And you don't have to prime, so... Oop. Yeah, see? That's what happens when you accidentally touch a wet primer. <laughs> By accident. And you don't have to... You don't have to prime, so please do be careful. Because it's a pain in the ass to scrub off when you, uh, when you get it on your, on your fingers. And you, like I said, you don't have to prime every sprue. Um... That comes in the box. Uh, I do it just because it um, it's good practice. Um, you know, not not everyone's going to be a pro. 
okay? Uh, so, I do it for that good practice. Okay? Um, that's what I'm say. But you don't have to do it for every sprue. You most certainly do not have to do it for every sprue. All right, and then here we got some jet bikes. Jet bike parts. So these are going to be quicker because it's all very much compact. So you just... You know, you make sure you don't... You didn't miss anything. That's easy. And then... Okay. I'm trying to my camera woman's gone because she she went inside so I'm trying to keep the shot kind of steady all right there you go nice even even coat nothing to worry about I'm running out of room, but I'm gonna put the sucker right here. And there's this bit. So yeah, like I said, it's it's fairly priming's fairly easy. Um, continuous stream or short bursts that depends on your on your style, but know that continue but short bursts it does pool a little bit. So keep that in mind while you're spraying. So. Same thing. Real easy. Keep on going, keep on covering. And you wanna you wanna pause because you don't want to delete all the detail too. You wanna make sure that your your work isn't because the thing the thing about the thing about priming is is that you wanna make sure um, that you're not deleting stuff. So you wanna you wanna look and you wanna carefully Make sure that even though you're trying to get rid of all the gray as best you can, and see for like right there. So that that's that's gonna be short bursts. Okay. You don't want to delete everything. You don't want to. As you're trying to get rid of all the gray, you don't want to delete detail. And that's how that works. So that's how you prime Games Workshop models. Um, I know I did a video of it before, but I promised you that I'd show you whole models, priming whole models. Um, And uh, I wanted to keep that promise. So there it is. Now, the stuff that the hobby doesn't tell you about. <laughs> um, as you can see, even with the plastic bag, this was my spraying hand. Okay, and then I accidentally uh, touched the sprue while it was drying. Um, so. What you want to do if you get if you ever get primer on yourself. So uh, what you want to do if you ever get primer on yourself is this: soap and water, green scrubby pad. You just scrub your hands as, as best as you can. Um, uh, you're not going to get it 
you're, you know, you may not be perfect the first time around when it comes to avoiding getting primer on your hands. Hell, I still get it from time to time. Hell, well, this video proves I still get it from time to time. Um, so, just be careful about that. And, uh, you know, it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice to spray paint your models well. But don't get discouraged, okay? Um, don't get dis discouraged. Because if you get discouraged and you quit, you'll never get better at it. So if you, if you do bad the first time around, so what? I mean, yeah, you potentially might have wasted some money, but, um, you know, the hobby comes with its risks. And that's, that's my opinion of it. So, this is a fully primed tank. Ready to be painted. The tracks are missing, yeah. Um, but it's ready to be painted and ready to see combat when it's tracked up and ready to go. And, you know, it's kind of cool. Uh, and it's an old style Hellhound. Um, so that's, that's something that you don't get to see on the battlefield anymore. Some of the older models. Um, uh, they might be a little beat up and they may not, they may not look the flashiest, but they, they, they add character to the battlefield. Um, and that's why I like some of the older models. You know, they may, they may be like this clunky metal thing that no one wants to deal with, but it's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. So that's, um, that's how you spray paint a tank, like a fully assembled model or almost fully assembled. And again, if your army has a very specific pattern, okay, like Oathway is just black and white, there, half my job is done. Now all I just have to do is go in and paint the helmets white, right? Paint the helmets white and, um, and, uh, um, Paint the weapons white, okay, with the gemstones in them. Uh, do the cloth a different color, and then that's it. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's that's how you. My army is finished. All right. It's still going to take me time to paint them, obviously, but it's going to take me amazingly less time than I would if they were like ultramarines. But even then, the, there there are sprays out there now that are. Ultramarines, White Scars, uh, Mephisto Red for the Blood Angels. Uh, you've got your Death Guard Green now for your Death Guard. Chaos Black is for really any Chaos player that has black armor, or any Imperial player that has black armor. So like your black, so you like your Black Templars. So, um, really, the primer can cut down on your painting time, which is what I like. Um, Especially if you don't have the time to do it. Like me, I barely have time to paint. Uh, this video, I promised you, I promised you another uh, spraying tutorial in like October. This is the first of November. Actually, yeah, middle of October I promised to, to, to do. And this is the first of November, so almost three weeks. So it's like, I don't, we don't have that luxury. So this saves you time. So I, I strongly, 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 strongly suggest that you guys invest in some primer. It is expensive, about um, $17, $18 a can, maybe $19, depending on where you're at, plus taxes. Well, in the States, $19 a can, plus taxes. Um, but it cuts down on time, and then you get to field your army quicker. Um, so yeah, that's how you... This, this is going to be Oathway Jet Bikes. These are going to be Oathway Wraith Guard. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's how this works. So, there's my workstation. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip over the box. And these guys are going to dry 
in here. And the fumes. So, like I said, the thing about the fumes is, is that these sprays are pretty potent. Um, any really primer spray is pretty pretty vicious when it comes to the fumes. All right. So be very very careful when you decide to spray. Leave the box. Leave whatever your models are out. And you can leave them unattended if you want them to, or leave them in a well-ventilated area um, for a good long while. That way you don't get sick. Okay? Um, because if you get if you get sick, that sucks. Uh. So, as you can see, that box is going to stay outside for a good portion of the day because I don't have any other priming. To well, I do have I do have other stuff to prime, but it's not going to be a lot of things. But that box is going to stay out there for the day, and then the fumes are going to waft out into the air, um, and then that's it. So. Uh, so that's it for for how to spray um, I want to thank you all for joining me for on this video and if you like what you saw if you have other comments please comment in the in the comments below uh, if you like these series please let me know and I will do more painting tutorials and whatnot um, hell I might even showcase painting my Eldar uh, for the new army um, and um, do it that way now uh, um, yeah so if you like what you see um, subscribe to my channel if you want to support me and the charities that I'm supporting donate to my patreon there's plenty of different tiers of tithes that you can that you can entry level tithes and all that stuff that you can donate with and it doesn't have to be for entirety it can be you know well you know I'm just gonna donate 20 bucks for two months or five dollars for four months or whatever the case might be however much you are able to give I'm going to be appreciative um, and uh, let's see what else what else is going on um, oh and join the discord join the discord community night is tonight it, uh, this Sunday night will be tonight it'll be uh, it'll be a Diablo th Diablo 3 uh, we're gonna have four players um, maybe five we're gonna we may have five and we're gonna we're gonna enjoy a good time we're gonna enjoy a good laugh um, and whatnot so that's gonna be community night uh, tonight and uh, yeah um, oh Pathfinder so last night we had a technical error with the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi dropped once in the middle of the campaign and then another time it just completely kicked me off so I had to restart another live stream uh, those two videos are going to merge together and I am going to put them out online after I do my video editing so I want to apologize about that episode 18 uh, was not really that good um, in the sense of filming and whatnot now uh, the also the reason why I had to cut it short was my daughter got really sick last night so uh, she's doing better now but my wife is now not feeling good and so here we go <laughs> we, we may we may get into flu season and whatnot so keep that in mind um, and whatnot so uh, yeah that's that's kind of frustrating so I want to apologize for the technical difficulties of last night during the Sleation campaign live stream and I want to apologize for ending it short uh, because we were struggling with the technical difficulties and then coming in and all that stuff so so episode 18 was we really didn't get a lot done and so we were, I'm trying to film on the 11th but that's so I want to apologize for that and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that painting tutorial. My name is Commissar Hecht. If you liked the video, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, this, will not, this video will not be a giveaway video. Um, only the battle reports will be giveaway videos. 
Uh, join the Patreon, join the Discord, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!